Welcome to GPTX Custom Functions for Google Sheets, powered by Coefficient. Using our new series of GPTX functions, we've made it easier than ever to leverage the power of GPT and AI right in your spreadsheets for better analysis. You can find a full list of all of our new functions, along with descriptions and real business use cases, on our website or in our add on. To get started, on any new spreadsheet, you'll need to first enable these new formulas by launching the Coefficient add on at least once. For today's demo, I'm going to showcase seven of the most powerful new functions by building a sample set of contact data and the drafting emails for each of those contacts. To get started, we'll use GPTX table to build a simple data table with uh, a list of 10 sales leads. And we want our columns here to be emails, role, department, company, and last contacted date. I'll hit enter and GPT will fill in the first five columns for us. Let's add a little bit more information to this data set with recent objection reasons of why they didn't purchase. Here we can use GPTX list. And we'll say we want 10 reasons leads didn't buy my software. We'll hit enter and GPT will fill in a objection reason for each of these leads. For better analysis, we should classify this list of objections and we can do that using GPTX tag We'll say that we want to feed in each objection one by one. And then on this separate tab, I've already categorized common objection reasons, such as cost and security. So we'll feed that in as our second parameter for this formula. And you can tell GPT has correctly identified that price was too high objection, uh, fits under the cost tag. And we'll drag that down for the rest of our leads. In order to address these emails to each of these leads, we want to be able to extract the first name from these emails. You could easily do that with GPTX extract. Simply saying we want to look at the email address and from that we want to extract capitalized first names. Hit enter, hit found the name John and we'll drag that down for the rest of our leads. In column I, we aren't actually using GPT. Here I've just reorganized all of the work we've done so far so that the GPT engine can more easily read this data. This is an unnecessary step, but it's a little bit helpful to keep things more clean. Now we can do something really exciting using the core GBTX function itself to draft an email for each of these leads. Here we'll say, write a sales email offering 10% is now this month. And we'll add a bit more information to this. So we'll add our contact summary from column I. And then we'll also add some product information. So on this other tab, I've already listed out some product specs and we'll feed that into the prompt as well. And there we go. GPT has written an email to John offering the 10% discount and correctly identifying that John's previous objection was about price. Um, and so we're directly confronting this objection in our sales email. I find this email a little bit long. So let's use GPTX edit to reduce the size of this email. So we can say we want to take email draft from here and we can explain how we want GBT to edit this email. We can say make it shorter and more casual. And maybe we know some information about John so we can say ask how this kids are. And there we go, a much shorter, more casual email and we've checked in on how the kids are doing. And finally, before we can send off these emails, we need subject lines. So for that, we can use GPTX summarize and we can feed it our edited email and we can say exactly how we want it summarized. In this case, let's say we want it to be catchy subject line using emojis. And there we have it. We have a new subject line with an emoji. We have an email that we can copy and paste and send and we can just drag this down for the rest of our contacts. Hope you enjoyed this demo. Really looking forward to seeing what you build next with GPTX functions.